a little bit like error, 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 like what? This is what's happening right now? Performance artist Cassandra Hempel describing the moment when she realized a big fitness expo planned in Santa Rosa likely wasn't real. The main producer fall off of communicational bandwagon was really disheartening. NorCal FitFest was scheduled for May 25th at the Veterans Memorial Building, billed as a magical Saturday packed with fitness, dance, and health adventures. So people invested their time and their money. Sonoma County Health and Wellness professionals like Tristan St. Germain were contacted through social media in January by a man named John, asking if they would participate and pay between $90 and $120 through a PayPal account for a booth at the festival. He said he was a philanthropist that has been retired and that he was helping his friends, Emily and Jess, and that this was their event. Tristan said it seemed legitimate. There was an event website and posts on Instagram. But when it came time to meet John and secure the event space with a signed contract last month. He no-showed and never met us, never signed contracts, never paid anybody, all my friends for the work that they put in. That's when the light bulb happened with the like, this is a scam. We had red flags from the beginning. This group says the worst part is John added a benefit dance party to the event with $25 ticket sales going toward medical care for Tristan's teenage son, Kainoa, recently diagnosed with MS. Tristan believes that too was a scam. I feel a bit bamboozled. I mean, I, I, it's hard for me to understand how people can be so mindless and heartless and cruel, really, because I feel like they, he really played on my vulnerability in the most vulnerable time in my life. We tried to reach John several times with voicemails, texts, and messages. So far, no response. Police now investigating, and they confirm FitFest is not happening. You encourage anyone who uh, purchased their vendor space or their attendee tickets on a credit card to maybe give their credit card company a call. When I spoke with him on the phone, he said that he doesn't use credit cards and that he would bring quote unquote fresh crisp $100 bills to pay us. For now, vendors say they'll move on. Tristan offering this GoFundMe page for her son's health care, which she says is definitely the real thing. In Sonoma County, Cornell Bernard, ABC 7 News.